Fujifilm has just announced a style makeover for its two flagship cameras, the X-Pro2 and the X-T2. Both high-end bodies are soon to ship with a silver graphite finish. Fuji says the graphite finish will produce what it calls an extremely high-grade, rich metallic texture, which will produce an elegant and tactile finish. In other words, it's going to be a thing of beauty and it's going to feel really good in the hands. Fuji puts this down to its multi-coating layering system. That starts off with a layer of matte black, which Fuji says, and I quote, it's an, the, the matte black is an undercoat that delivers deep blacks in shadow areas to make the highlights stand out. So even in their actual camera bodies, they're trying to give you as much dynamic range as possible. So that's your base coat. On top of your matte black base coat, you will find a second layer of thin film coating technology, coating technology to apply graphite silver for an incredibly smooth finish with a luxurious shine. The third layer is just a clear varnish to hold it all in, make it look good. And to complement the graphite finish on the X-Pro2 and the X-T2, Fuji are also introducing, if you like, a colour coordinated lens. They're producing a graphite version of the XF 23mm weather resistant lens. Fuji plan to release a special edition kit of the new Graphite X-Pro2 and the Graphite 23mm weather resistant lens on March the 9th. Not to be outdone, the Graphite version of the X-T2 will ship with what Fuji is calling special accessories along with a premium leather strap and Aluminium hot shoe cover and matching EF-X8 hot shoe mount flash. So yep, yeah, it looks like the, um, the hot shoe is going to be the same colour as the top plate of the camera. In other words, graphite, which obviously would make sense. But there is also going to be an EF-X8 hot shoe mount flash. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Obviously the graphite finish on the two bodies and the lens is purely a style thing. And there'll be photographers who flock to them and photographers who won't but it's there as an option. I do find it interesting though that given the high sales numbers of both the X-Pro2 and the X-T2, quite how many units Fuji are likely to sell in the early days. But it, again, I guess it may be a thing for, for those who already have an X-Pro2 or an X-T2 and are looking to add a second body. You delve around in your camera bag, you've got three or four black camera bodies in there. Sometimes you can't be sure which one you're grabbing. So if you've got something that's black, and something that's silver, you might be shooting one film simulation in another, or colour in one, black and white in another, something like that. I'm sure it'll go down a treat with you all. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.